Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to not a mod tutorial. This time I'm bringing you the 20 mods that you should use in your Minecraft 1.16.5. And these are mods that I use a lot in my single player world. And I will show you why you should use them and how to use them. So yeah, let's start it. A quick side note, I will link all the mods in the description below and also if you want to see recipes that I didn't mention in this video, I will advise you to use GI just enough items to check that out. So the first mod that you should have is the botany pots and the botany trees which are related. So basically uh, this mod adds a, a botany pot and a hopper botany pot and what the botany pot uh, does is allows you to grow many kinds of plants not trees you have you sh you, sh you have to have the the botany tree to do that and then you have the hopper one which will output the 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 seeds or the wheat, anything that, that comes from that seed, to a chest under it, okay? So the recipes are very simple, it's just a lot of clay, and in this one it's a hopper with a lot of clay. And to use it, you just need some type of farmland, so you can use farmland from any mob, mod, like Mystical Agriculture or Forbidden and Arcanus, and you just take the farmland, Put it in the in the upper uh, in the upper knot in the botany pot with some seeds and there you have it. And in the upper one, you can also take. In this case, I'll take dirt, and I'll put the oak sapling here. And after it's it has grown, it will output to the chest under it. The second mod is the caged mobs, which is basically like botany pods, but for uh, animals and for hostile mobs. So basically you need to craft yourself a mob cage or a hopping mob cage if you want to output to automatically go to a chest below. To do so you need uh, some iron and to the hopping one you need a hopper with some redstone and a mob cage. And after you do that, you need to craft yourself a DNA sampler. So you have the normal one for entities like pigs, cows and, and neutral uh, entities. Then you have the diamond uh, DNA sampler for hostile mobs. And then the netherite DNA sampler for bosses like the wither, dragon, the uh, ender dragon. You, you know the gist. After that, you can check the recipes in GEI, of course, you also have uh, upgrades. So you have the cooking cage upgrade, which will cook the output. So for example, for pigs, you can cook the, the meat. The lightning cage upgrade, if you want to kill the mobs by, by lightning. And the arrow cage upgrade, which is very useful if you want to get the discs from creepers, for, for example. And in the bosses, for the bosses, you will not get the all the drops, of course. You will get for the uh, wither, for example, you will get the... You can see here the recipe. You will get a 10% chance of Wither Rose and 10% chance of a Nether Star Fragment, which is used uh, in a 9x9 for a Nether Star. And for uh, the Sponge one, comes from the Elder Guardian, and the Dragon Scale comes from the Ender Dragon, and then it drops from uh, Bees. So, uh, to, to help you along, I, sh I should add that you need to put uh, a floor on the cage mobs, uh, on the mob cage. So to do so, for example, if it's an uh, animal, you will need a hay bale. If it's a hostile mob from the overworld, you need stone. If it's a hostile mob that lives in the desert, you will need sand, for example, for, hus for husks. If it's a mob from the nether, you will need magma block. If it's a mob from the a cold area, you will need snow. If it's a mob from the uh, ender uh, to the end, you will need end stone, for example, enderman. And if it's like a guardian of or a mob from the uh, from the ocean, you will need sand and water. And I have to explain you how to do this. So I will explain like a normal one, for example, the wither skeleton. So for the wither skeleton, I will get a diamond DNA sampler. I will get two because I need one for the Guardian. So let's go into normal, Wither Skeleton. You just left click, you attack it, so done. And now, if I put the Magma Block there, oh, the, I'm, I'm growing a wither, a wither there, but if I put the Magma Block there and I right click with the DNA Sampler, 
you can now see with the skeleton it's growing it's very very small but you can see on the left upper side of the of the screen that it sets environment magma block entity with a skeleton and for the guardian i will show you now i need some space so for the guardian i will need to first take the dna sample left click so done let me go into peaceful then i need to put the sand but if you right click right now it will say the entity requires a water lodge cage so you need to put uh, water in the cage to do so you need some blocks around it so you need to so that the water doesn't run out and then you right click and now it's possible to put the, the guardian there you can see environment sand entity guardian and that's basically it. Uh, you, <clears throat> if you want to automate, you will use the hopping one and you will get the drops automatically uh, when they die. The third mod that I have to show you is the uh, speedy hoppers, which is basically like upgraded hoppers. So you have the normal hopper and then you have the uh, speedy hopper one, two and three, which is like iron, gold and diamond. And to craft them, you need for the speed upper one, you need six iron. Speed upper two, which is a gold one, six uh, gold. And speed upper three, you need six diamonds. To show you how fast they are, I'll put a stack here, a stack here, a stack here, a stack here. And as you can see, each time you upgrade it, it's much, much faster. This is the diamond one. The gold one is still going. The iron one and the normal one and that's basically it uh, speedy hoppers and still on the upper side of the world we have the upper which is basically like a upper but instead of taking items from a chest over it to a chest below it will take from a chest below to a chest over it and it's a very useful one so if i take like a stack of cobblestone and i put it, i put it in the in the chest here it will take it through the upper and then to the chest this is a very, very useful uh, item when you are in the beginning of, of your world because it will help you a lot before you get uh, into uh, more advanced uh, mods. So the fifth mod that I have to show you, it's the flopper, which is a hopper for fluids. So I have here a basic fluid tank from Mechanism and I have a flopper uh, on the side. If I put water inside it, it can hold fifth, uh, f five buckets and it will transfer the fluid to the tank. And also it can transfer from tank to tank, as you can see. And the recipe is just some iron and a bucket. The sixth uh, mod that I have to show you is a uh, global to XP, uh, which has the block XP block. So the XP block is crafted with iron bars and some emeralds, and it's a very neat and simple uh, mod that I will show you. So if I have some experience, so let's say XP at Saracen, let's say a lot of it, I can right click, shift right click and it will store all my XP and if then right click I will take one by one as you can see it's taking it to my player and if I then shift right click it will take all of the levels and again and again the seventh uh, mod that I have to show you is the XP tome it's also like global XP but a little different so basically the XP tome when you shift when you sneak right click it will store as much as it can hold uh, from your XP and you and when you right click it it will give you back all the XP so I will give I'll go into survival I have seven levels if I shift right click it will store the seven levels and then if I right click again I have the seven levels back and I can repeat that over and over and even if I have more XP it will store it but if I have way too much like imagine 63 levels when I shift right click it will only only store as much as it can hold okay 
the eighth mod that I have is the Speedy Ladders. So Speedy Ladders adds four tiers of, of ladders from stone to iron, then gold and diamond. And each one will give you a much faster way of going up and down. So the stone one is just stone in the form of a ladder. The iron one is the stone one with some iron nuggets. The gold ladder is with gold nuggets and the diamond ladder it's a diamond in the middle with some gold letters around it and I can show you how fast it is so the normal one very slow okay the stone one much faster then you have the iron one the gold one and the diamond one the next mod is Simply Light. So Simply Light will add a lot of lights, a simple lights, as the name says. And basically, it adds the uh, Illuminant block, the Illuminant block inverted. So basically, one responds to the off state of the lever and the other one to the on state. Then you have the illumin Illumination Slab, the Illumination um, uh, uh, Fixer, the Light Bulb, the Edge Light Top, Edge Light Bottom, and the rot so the recipes are very simple i can show you a few uh, let me go into creative so basically the luminant block is some glowstone redstone and uh, some type of stone and you can change it between the inverted one and the normal one then if you want to craft for example the slab or the fixture you can check that it's some glowstone with stone for the fixture and for the slab, for example, it's some glowstone with stone. So very easy uh, recipes. And you can put them on walls, as you can see, like that. You can put them on the ceilings. And you can also put it on the ground. The next mod that I will show you is one that I love. It's called Bobbly Heart Canisters. And it adds new layers of hearts to your health. So basically, it adds four new layers. The red one yellow green and blue and each layer comes from these miniature uh, hearts that comes from uh, mobs and then you have also the wither bone which is a crafting ingredient that comes from wither skeleton the relic apple which is apple with diamonds and, and emeralds and then you will craft the canisters with some iron and bone and the amulet which is glass, string, and any kind of, of a heart. And then you will start to craft the canisters. So you can have a maximum of 10 canisters of each. So you can have 10 of the red, 10 of the yellow, 10 of the green, 10 of the blue. And you will have to put them inside the amulet. So for example, I will show you some crafting recipes. For example, this one. Then the yellow uses the red one. The green uses the yellow. And then the blue is the green and i can show you that i can have the maximum of 10 each so if i try to have a stack of the red one i can have 10 as you can see 10 of those 10 of those 10 of those and then i can for example i can only point like one two of these and one of these one of these and three of these and three of these and if I now use the the necklace you can see that I have nine more hearts and why nine well because it will stack them so three plus three six seven eight nine okay so nine hearts in total but if I now put all the canisters in there and if I go into my necklace slot I will now have the full layers and to show you that I have the four layers the new layers I will go into the lava so I'm in the blue layer so now you can see the green layer and now I'm starting to go into the yellow one and now into the red one and now I'll start to take damage on my normal health the 11th mod that I will show you is called Torchmaster. So Torchmaster adds four items, which is which are the dread lamp, which prevents natural spawning of passive animals like squids, bats, and oslets in a in a big ra radius around the lamp. Then the mega torch, which is the one that I use 
a lot in my single player, which prevents natural spawning of hostile mob uh, monsters. So it's a great one to have in your in your base. You can craft it with some torches, gold, uh, wood, and diamonds. And the dread lamp was with some obsidian, uh, black dye. Glowstone and, and glass pane, and then you have the feral place lantern, which I use a lot too in my single player, which places in invisible lights. So basically, if you are in a in a very dark area, I'll put it like night. Let me show you. Okay, so now it's night. If I put down the the lamp, I'll put it in the place that doesn't have light. You can see. Can you see? It's starting to place down the like invisible lights around around here so if i break it it will take them all out and then you also have oops, you also have the frozen pearl which clears residual lights from a feral flare lantern which never happened to me okay the like the visible lights that stay around when you broke when you break the feral flare lantern but if you have any you can craft the frozen pearl then we have the time in a bottle, which is a very handy uh, item. So basically to craft it, you need a clock, diamonds, lapis, gold and glass bottle. And then just let it rest in your inventory and it will start to store time. As you can see there, the store time is going up. And then you can use set stored time to speed up blocks. So for example, I can speed up furnaces, rats on furnaces from thermal series or other items from mechanism and so forth. You just try it, okay? And to do that, you shift right click and it will start to go up, up, up and taking the time from your bottle, of course, to the maximum of 265. And you can do the same in other items, modded items. Also, you can do that, I can show you, in botany pots, for example. As you can see, it's going very, very fast. And you can do that in caged, uh, in open mob cage, for example. There you go. It's going much faster. It's going so fast that you can see the mob growing. The next mod is basic nether ores, which will add the ores in the nether. So basically in the in the basic version, it will add the lapis lazuli, diamond, emerald, redstone, iron and coal. But in the configs, you can also add uh, uranium, lead, copper, tin, aluminum, nickel, silver and osmium. And you can see that info here. World generation disabled, enabled through config file. Okay, so you, you have that. But these six, it they will be generated um, in the nether. And you can see in which web levels you can, you can get them. And this mod is very helpful because in the beginning of, of, of your world, you will need a lot of resources. And this is a very easy way to get those. Next, we have the open blocks uh, elevator. This is one of my favorites. I use it a lot too. So basically to craft it, you need some wool and ender pearl and you can craft it in various colors. So you can use dyes uh, with the elevator and then just put the elevator in a straight line uh, vertically with other elevator and just jump and I'm up here. And then if you shift on the, on the top one, I'm down there and you can do this in levels. So for example, if I want another level, uh, for example here, I can go down one level, I'm here and then another level and I'm here. Now we have the diagonal fences, so I'm not showing you the fences, I'm showing you what the mod has. So it basically has a way to have uh, diagonal fences. So normally the fences go in a, in a straight line, okay, like that. But in this mod, if I break these four corners, for example, I have a diagonal uh, space. Okay, so this is very cool, and you can see that it 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 interacts and and it's compatible with with other mods. So, for example, this is a Minecraft oak fence. This is a fence from Forbidden Arcanus, a fence from Botania, and one from Immersive Immersive Engineering, and they all work. Then we have 
travel anchors, which was and uh, travel stuff, which were items from Ender IO, and someone ported them now to to Minecraft 1.6 in .5 and very cool items. So basically, to craft the travel stuff, you will need iron and ender pearl, and to craft the travel anchor, you need some iron, iron blocks of iron and ender pearl, and then. To use it, you will need to place down the travel anchor where you want to travel to. So, for example, this is my own base, let's say. Right-click it. You have to give it a name. So, for example, home. Okay. So, now this is home. And now, if I go far away. So, for example, right here. If I look there, I can see the, the, the home part. I'm not... Okay, now I was close enough, so now I can travel between uh, places. So, for example, if I, if I put one here, and I put uh, on two, now I can go to this one, and then from this one to that one, and back to that one. So, very cool. The next mod is called... Vanilla Emmers, and it basically adds emmer, Emmers that can uh, mine in a 3x3 area and they have different speeds, different attack damage and also different durabilities and you have from wood to iron, diamond and redstone and you name it and I will show you what they do, so if I go into a stone area, so for example right here, okay, if I go into survival and I start to mine, it will mine a 3x3. And then we have the Extreme Sound Muffler. Uh, it's a mod that doesn't add any block to the game. It will add a button on the right side of your player, right here, Muffler, as you can see. And when you click it, you have access to all the recent sounds in the game and you can like muffle them, mute the, the, the sound. So for example, imagine that you have like a big farm of sheep or ships and they make all these noise and steps. You can go to the Muffler search for ship and right here you can see that you have the entity ship ambient so it's the the sound that they are making right now and then you have the ship steps and to make sure that you are muffling the right sound you can play it okay i'm playing it so you can hear the the sound loud and clear and if i mute it there you have it peace and then i can also mute the the steps for example and and see if it's the right sound this is the steps of the ship. And also, if you want to unmute it, you can do so. Okay, I'm now, they are now unmuted. And this works with basically everything in the game. Like every other mod and everything, you will be able to mute the sound. You just, uh, the sound just need to be played recently. And then you go to the muffler, search for it. For example, lava, okay. Uh, I, th I think there is lava around there. So if I go here. I can mute the sound of lava, for example, which is this sound, and I can mute it. The next mod is a very cool one. I know I've said that a lot in this video, but trust me, this one is very, very good, which is dimensional dungeons. And as the name says, it will generate a dimension with a dungeon, a different one each time you have a new uh, keystone. I, I will show you that. And in that dimension, you will have a lot of loot and fights and puzzles and exploration. And side note, you can't place or break any block in on those dimensions, okay? So, how do you get there? So, to get there, first you have to craft your dimensional dungeon, or you should, uh, to know what the mod does. So, to, to craft it, it's a book with a chisel stone brick. And it will show you a lot of information and some secrets. I won't show you the secrets, okay? You have to find the, that for, for yourself. And after that, you will need some stone bricks. You will need yourself to craft yourself a blank portal key, which is a blaze rod with the name tag. Uh, uh, two guarded portal blocks, which is uh, a chisel stone brick with gold around it, and one portal keystone, which is Eye of Ender, a guarded portal block, and a trapped chest. And after you get all of those items, you will have to build the portal. So to build the portal, don't mind the oak planks, uh, the, it's not required, you will need a uh, these stone bricks with a guided portal on top, like these two pillars, and then this pattern with the, with the stone bricks and the portal keystone on top. After that, 
you when you have the the blank portal key if you try to use it on the portal key stone it won't do anything you have to activate it to activate it you need to go to the end portal frame and click right click on the dark side of the portal okay so right there if i right click you have like this sound and you will have the name of the of the dimension that in this case is the prison of wonder and right now i can summon the dimension so i'll just right click the portal keystone and it has been activated and now let's go in and now we're here so oops a lot of a lot of noise they have a lot of different themes so this one i can see that is bees in this room so i've been in other ones that are like lapis lazuli sea the sea like very very cool themes and i won't show you the other rooms okay uh you have to explore them yourself because it's a very a very cool way of of spending your time and you will get a lot of loot fights and um puzzles so go through it and that's it for today guys i hope you liked the video uh, give it a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And check out my other videos and tell me which videos would you like to see on my channel. And I'll surely uh, give it a try. So yeah, that's it. See you next time.